Hello everyone, this is Terry. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I like to send an extra extra special prayer out to the homeless and praying that we all find uh, a home of our own and better finances and that we're safe while we're out in these streets and um so what I wanted to come on here and say I wanted to clear up a lot of things for some people for the homeless period I am homeless um I've been homeless for some months now I've been homeless throughout almost the whole winter um I'm still homeless I lost my home because my landlord decided she wanted she wanted to put her house up for sale instead of renting it um I don't know why she waited till she rented it to me and my fiance and then wanted to say something like that after a year I don't understand that um so that left me and him homeless we did take her to court the judge had no remorse he didn't care um so we are basically in our van well we are living in our van um um uh, I I am in such need of help. It's ridiculous. I get SSI. Um, my husband, I keep saying my husband, my fiance does work. Um, once we put our money together and uh, try to get out of van into a hotel, it takes every dime. Um, sometimes we have to run the gas. That's like, I think, 50 or $60 to fill the van up. So sometimes we have to run it all night. Um, we we sit outside of Target because that's where the homeless people get to sit or camp out. Um, so there are a lot of people out there running their cars all night, and you have to use you know that gas gets used up running that heat. Um, it, it's really it's really really hard. It's really hard. Um, if you like to help me, my cash app is dollar sign capital B U T T E R capital T E R everything else is lowercase um what I, so what I wanted to come on here and talk about was please stop telling people typing down below you can go into a shelter you cannot just go to a shelter and they're going to say oh come on in it's not that easy at least i know it's not that easy in dc and maryland i don't know how it is in any other state um if you've never been in a shelter try to go and try to get in a shelter then once you get in come back on here and tell us how it went because for one thing once you go to sleep especially if you're in a room with a lot of other people majority of the time you're going to wake up and your stuff is going to be stolen the people that sit at the desk and supposed to be helping you or whatever, they don't do anything. I don't even know why they're there. People get in fights all the time. You can't stand up for yourself in there. The people's kids are running rapid. Uh, then you got to live with the druggies and the alcoholics. And I'm not judging anybody. I'm just explaining. And the, the thing, you, you see people sitting there in the corner uh, sucking on their pipe. It's, it's a lot. It's not as hunky dory as people think it is in these shelters the shelters the reason why you see a lot of people on the street because the shelters are effed up they're terrible they're terrible down to the people that you think care that are in there so called acting like they're working when they're letting people just do what they want the showers are dirty uh, the, the covers aren't clean you better make sure you got your own everything it, it's a mess it's a mess um, I've been in them I know um, I, I get SSI um, it's not easy for a person with SSI to um, get a place if you don't have section 8 or low income or you're living with someone section 8 you, I mean you're, you're, you're out section 8 does not pay enough for a person to live live on their own without those means um and when people keep saying okay go home don't you have a family uh don't you have brothers sisters? don't you have a mother don't you have this maybe someone's mother has passed maybe their father has passed maybe their um something is going on in their family to where 
They don't want to go back to family because they're judging them. They won't let them stand up for themselves. Um, it's a lot. You never know if a person is asking for help. Evidently, they can't get into a shelter. They evidently, um, evidently, they can't go home. Um, people, a lot of people don't want to just be in the streets just to be in the streets. There's a reason they're in the street. Um, I, I'm disabled. I was assaulted years ago, and it left me considered legally blind. I'm blind in one eye. I blur vision in the other. Um, and as I was growing up, I did a lot of walking. I never wanted to catch the bus. I was just that type of person that always wanted to exercise, keep my weight down. Well, it ruined my knees. I have bone on bone. It ruined my hips. It ruined my hips all the way down to my ankles really bad. It's, I have severe arthritis. I can't think of what the other name for the other thing is. I also have sciatica. If you know what sciatica is, oh my God. So I use a scooter to get around. Um, I need to be learning to use a cane for my blindness, but I can't use a cane and use my scooter. I also have my companion dog, which I'm trying to have trained, you know, to be a service dog. So, and the hotels are so expensive so expensive i come in a hotel and it takes every dime every dime then you're back in the street it's hard it's not easy guys it's not easy and please don't don't put people down that are going through this you could turn around tomorrow and something could happen your house could be burned down by accident anything and then you're your family can say, well, we don't want you to come with us. Or anything can happen. And then you're out there in the same boat as this person is. Please stop judging people that are going through this. You don't know their struggle. Everybody's struggle is different. And as I said before, I understand how hard it is to believe someone when they come on TikTok, Facebook, whatever the case may be, asking for help. Because there's so many, so many people on here that are doing this just to get money maybe for drugs or whatever the case may be so it makes it hard for the people that really need the help and i understand that and that's really really sad um it, it's terrible um so i just wanted to come on here and speak for the homeless and uh, let you guys know that i don't know about anyone else but my story is true um on, on God it's true I pray that you know I pray that everything happens for the good for all the homeless right now if you're going through something I'm sorry I just want to say I, I love you and if I was there I'd give you a big hug and believe me it, it God's got you God has got us he's got us and one day you're going to wake up we're going to wake up and we're going to say wow we were in the streets just some days ago and this and that and the other so believe me it can happen don't give up i know it's hard i know i know i'm there right now with you I, i'm not with you but i'm homeless as well um i'm gonna leave my cash app down below in hopes that someone sends me a little something even even ten dollars would help I, I could get a meal it's anything it's it's and it doesn't matter the age. Homeless has no number. Homeless has no age limit. Um, so that's all I really and truly wanted to say. Um, I appreciate appreciate you all for even taking the time to come and listen to this. I pray that you all have a blessed day. I love you all. Hugs and kisses. Talk to you guys later.